Hello and welcome back to part 2 of this video tutorial series on how to make a blog site using Gatsby.js. In the last video we installed all the, the tools and prerequisites that we need to make and edit this project including Node.js and Gatsby CLI itself which allows us to create the app. So let's start creating the app. So I'm going to run a command terminal on desktop and let's run Gatsby new code underscore blog. Um, so code underscore blog is just a name. You can never name it whatever you want. As long as you type Gatsby new, uh, this is now going to create the project, uh, the NPM project with the dependencies that Gatsby needs and fetch and install all these dependencies and pre prepare the boilerplate for us. So this is going to take a while. So I'll be back once it's done installing. Okay, now that it's done installing, let's cd into it by uh, typing cd code blog and let's open it up in VS Code by running code dot which opens this directory in VS Code. I'm going to now close this terminal and from now on I'll be using the VS Code integrated terminal. You can open it up by pressing um, control uh, at um, which is going to open it up. So let's look at what we got here. So package JSON file, which is standard NPM, um, file that comes with any NPM based project. We got our dependencies, including Gatsby and a couple of plugins that come with it. We got React and, uh, React helmet, which we'll talk about later. We have scripts here build, which builds the static assets to, uh, the public directory. And we got develop which um, starts this application. So before we go through the rest, let's let's start this application and see what it looks like. So by running Gatsby develop, it will now run the application on watch mode, which means uh, essentially it's watching what you're doing and each time you change a file, it recompiles uh, and runs on hot reload. So you can, you don't have to stop and run again each time you change something. So it's done compiling so let's control click localhost at port 8000 and there we go um so we got here our header which is pretty simple right now just the title and we got this home page and we got a link to the page 2 which is which just says page 2 it's pretty simple right now this is the boilerplate that comes shipped with uh, with gatsby so uh, let's change a couple of things or or let's just go through the structure and like, understand a bit what's going on what's going on here so i got these config files uh most important one is gatsby config this is where we have our site metadata including the title description and author and all this stuff we have our plugins here this is each time we need to use a new plugin after installing it we need to um configure it here uh, we got this Gatsby node, which is empty right now, but we're going to be using this later to create pages. So let's not worry about that too much right now. So we have a source folder. This is where our React app sits. We got a components folder. This is where our, all our components of our pages sit. And uh, let's see, we got layout here. This is the main uh, layout file and each time each page we create will extend this layout. Uh, so it will use everything that is in this layout and what we put in the middle of the layout tag will be here. So we will always include this header, which is right here. And it's, it's just got some, uh, some stylings and we, it includes the title of the page which is uh, the title of the site rather, which is pulled from the metadata that we saw earlier in the config file. And uh, we're going to be working with this a bit later. So let's jump into pages. So these are our pages. So it's, it's as simple as this to, in order to create a page, you just create a JavaScript file here and name it. And that would be that page. So if we wanted, let's say to create a page about an about page at uh, the path slash about, we just come here and create a new file about .js, but we will do that later. So let's remove this as well. Let's um, let's clean up a little bit. So I don't want the home page to say all of this for now. I just want it to have a header one that says home page, 
and let's remove this page too. We don't need that. And let's leave this uh, default 404 page in case a user goes to a link that doesn't exist anymore or a page that doesn't exist at all, they will get this page. Um, let's remove this basic styling or default styling that comes with Gatsby. We're gonna use our custom stylings. Uh, let's remove the import as well so it doesn't throw an error. Uh, what else? Let's remove this image component. We're gonna import it and use it ourselves later. And let's delete these images. We're not gonna use them. And what else? Let's change. Let's change the title of the of the website. Let's call it code blog. And let's change the icon. Now I found this cool icon. So let's let's download this cool icon. I'm gonna post uh, a link to this icon in the video description so that you can download it. Let's download the 64 by 64 um, version of it and let's drag and drop it in images. I'm gonna rename it to icon.png for the sake of simplicity and let's go ahead. This is where our icon image URL link resides. So let's give it that URL icon.png. So now the icon should change and the site title should change and let's save everything and let's close everything for now and should compile again and we got an error let's look and see what happens here we have an error with image.js because something is important it let's look at index yes we're importing a deleted file so let's remove these imports for now and let's save and here we go, it compiles successfully. Let's go to localhost 8000 again. And we don't have a title. And why is that? Let us check. Oh, that's because each time you change the configuration files, you actually have to run again. It only watches these uh, the component files and the stylings and all this stuff. But the configuration files, whenever you do a change there, you have to stop and, and start the server again. So it should work now. So if we just reload, there we go. We see that the the title here in the header changed and the name of the tab changed to uh, home at code blog because we're in the home page. And if you're wondering why it added this home thing, that's coming from the uh, React Helmet uh, component and it's using a template. So we got a title, which is the title of the page and it's using this template. So the title goes here and there's this um, wall, let's call it, it's the or sign. And we have our, the title of the, of the site goes here. So if we were in about, it will be about a uh, wall, I guess, code blog. So if you don't like that, you can change it here. Um, I'm fine with it for now. And the icon didn't change just because we need to uh, clear the cache. So if you do control F5, it sh should change. And there we go. And yeah, it's starting to look more custom. It's starting to look more like our site. So we're going to do more of that in the next video. We're going to start to create uh, our own pages and we're going to bring in our own custom styles. So look forward to that and uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.